If you're running Windows 10 on older or lower end hardware, you may feel a weight of the operating system starting to strain what you have. With even heavier Windows 11 fast approaching, you can try and give your PC new life by running Linux instead. Here's what we recommend. While there are Linux distros that will run happily on old computers from the early 90s, for practical reasons, we'll showcase a few that can provide a stable and modern desktop experience, prioritizing ease of setup and light resource usage. All of the listed distros will be able to run fairly smoothly on 2 gigabytes of RAM, 8 to 16 gigabytes of hard disk storage, and Core Duo processor from 2008. To start, we have our recommendation for absolute beginners. Linux Lite, running on less than a gigabyte on startup, the OS provides a light and snappy experience with its XFCE-based desktop. Meant for beginners transitioning over from Windows, the distro provides a wide variety of easy-to-use tools and an extensive online manual to help the average user along without too much of a fuss. As it's based on Ubuntu's long-term support release, you can expect a stable experience once installed. If your PC is a bit older, we can recommend MX Linux. Their flagship XFCE edition runs great out of the box, with a release for both 64-bit and older 32-bit hardware. Like Linux Lite, it has a bunch of tools bundled in to help transitioning Windows users manage their system from day to day, as well as an enthusiastic community. The distro is a rolling release based on Debian, another distro well known for its stability, so you can expect both newer software versions alongside great system stability. If you're running hardware that's a bit more powerful, you can try their KDE version. For something a bit more polished that lets you dig a bit further into your system, Mint, XFCE, or Zubuntu would be something to consider. While there are a bunch of differences between the two, Mint XFCE is more fully featured in general, with a bunch of themes and apps, while Zubuntu is more minimalist by comparison. However, both are fairly resource light and snappy. If you need something that's really resource light, Lubuntu is the way to go for distro beginners. Running on just 360 megabytes of RAM once installed, the system is significantly lighter than anything on our list. It's perfect for when 100 megabytes of RAM makes a difference. The distribution has undergone a change in philosophy, as well as a change in desktop environment, so things are still a bit rough around the edges. If you've got resources to spare and don't mind something a bit heavier, Ubuntu Mate's latest long-term release easily takes the cake. Though it can run okay on two gigabytes of RAM, you'll want to double that for a smooth experience. And even though the default desktop layout is pretty intuitive by default, if you're not satisfied with the dual panel layout and green theme, you can opt to change things up. With a bit of work looking through your options, you can have something that looks like anything from Windows XP to Mac OS X. On install, you can opt to install a full list of recommended free and open source apps, or just a browser and system tools to install what you need yourself. As one of Ubuntu's golden distributions, Ubuntu Mate is extremely well supported and fairly well polished. If you like this guide, make sure you subscribe for all sorts of videos covering Linux and other technologies. And don't forget to check out one of these videos we think you might enjoy.